what's happened so fam are you willing to embrace the divine mother now this thing came to me just a couple days ago i was meditating and i started thinking about like my motherly ties and the things that i've been really associating with like my upbringing in terms of my mother and then all of a sudden i saw the divine cosmic mother she came through and she said are you willing to substitute all of your motherly wounds for a new mother who's going to cure them all for you. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. Welcome to the Onto High community. My name is Excel Carasquillo, and on this channel, we talk about Reiki, energy medicine, and ascension, with so much more in between so that you can become the best version of yourself. Now, this is a really great video for anybody who has like a lot of mother baggage, right? Um, me personally, I have a lot of baggage as my mom, um, just growing up in general and not feeling like my needs were met overall as a as a, a child from my mother. And when you're able to just meditate and ask yourself, okay, well, my mother is just a reflection of the divine mother. And the divine mother is a cosmic being. It's this being that you can sit down with, you can talk to it, it'll talk to you, it'll give you advice and it'll nurture you but i have to first let go of my trauma with my mom or i have to be willing to say that i can substitute my mom with another force another nature and reality now for some of you who are first listening to this type of energy work you're like okay well how do i do that right you have to be willing to talk to the cosmos the cosmos literally listens to everything you say Every word that comes out of your mouth is amplified 10 times over the moment you vocalize it. So a positive thought, if it's in your head, it's only one X, right? It's only as powerful as it is in your in your mind. The moment you say it, it's 10 times more powerful, right? So one of the things you have to start off with is just basically saying, okay, well, universe, I wanna be more close to the divine mother. I want to know what motherliness really is, okay? And I, I invite that energy into my reality so I may learn, so I may have that experience, right? And by saying that, you're affirming this, this one law of reality that you wanna manifest to come to you. And it'll heal your motherly wounds. It'll help you become a better mother if you're already a mother right now. And you're asking, how can I like better my skill? This is how you do it. The Divine Mother is seen in a bunch of different alchemy, from Hindu to um, Egyptian alchemy to just traditional like paganism. There's a Divine Mother in every aspect of magic that exists. It's just which mother do you resonate with the most, right? I really did. I really like to connect with the Divine Mother. Um, you know, Shakti, I like to connect with Kali even because their vibrations in the Hindu uh, pantheon that they have a, a divine motherly energy that is no bullshit, right? Kali, if you call her in as a divine mother, she's always going to guide you to your best reality possible. And she's always gonna tell you the truth no matter how difficult that truth is. If you work with Shakti, she's always gonna be nurturing your truth progressively as you grow and it's going to be a little bit slower i also really love to work with isis uh, the egyptian god goddess isis because she'll come in and she'll teach you that motherly love is not always going to be something that's like you know it's easy to ab absorb and like your mom's not always there to hold your hand with everything she's there to make you feel powerful and even if you have a negative vibration with your earth mother right now right you have some sort of beef with her she did do her divine template in some way because she gave you the lessons that you both agreed on to have so that you could become the person who's watching this video today right and that's one of the things that when you're working with 5d dimensional energy you stop blaming people sure certain situations were not positive or beneficial for you but ultimately they made you a better person. They got you to where you're at right now, where you're able to contemplate a higher state of existence, right? So looking back, even in, in my own story, I look at my mom's consciousness level when she was raising me, she was still developing herself as a person. She still had a lot of things, that, a lot of trauma that she was working with. And she could only give me as much of her consciousness that she had at that t at that time at that moment and even though it caused me as a child a lot of trauma and a lot of like difficulty 
I was able to use that trauma to become a better person, to become a better parent, to become a better mentor, to become a better friend, to become a better lover. I was able to see through the examples of my mother all the things that I did not resonate with and that I did not want to embody as I grew older into myself, right? And without those examples, it would be very difficult to be able to shape the direction in which you wanted to be with. You have to look at the divine mother in your own mother and say, hey, there were flaws, but she was still working in divinity, right? And if you are still not at that point where you can look at your mother and look at the divine aspect of your mother, connect to one of the many goddesses that embody motherly love, Hathor, Egyptian goddess, Isis, Egyptian goddess, Kali, Shakti, Hindu goddess. You can really connect with even other ones that are beyond this as well to help you understand a greater scope of magic, a greater scope of motherlyhood. Remember that no matter what it is that you are, even if you're a mother today, and a mother can be both male or female, if you are in the role of a mother, you are divine. Every moment that you wake up, you must remind yourself that you are divine and that you're bringing in the best, highest vibrational energy to whoever it is that you're interacting with in terms of motherly energy, right? Connecting with the Divine Mother will heal you at the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the solar plexus chakra so that you can open more of your heart center and embrace more of reality. You are divine, you are powerful, and never forget this, okay? Especially when you're working with um, other people in terms of like Reiki energy medicine. If you're working with someone who has a lot of divine mother wounds or motherly wounds, when you're in your Reiki session, you should be calling in the energies of the divine mother so that they can flow through you and help that person, right? Or they can just randomly step into the room and orchestrate that person's reality to become something way more beautiful than what they've been experiencing. So if this was a very helpful video for you and you loved it, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share, okay? If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching or you wanna join our awesome community where you can learn how to tap deeper into your psychic abilities, becoming a shaman, and becoming an ascended master, check out the links in the description below. All of it's there for you, so you can definitely get all the resources and the help that you're looking for. And I will catch you in our next episode. I'm sending you all the love.